It's Friday. Margarita Friday. We have made it through another week of quarantine. And I think every Friday I'm going to be doing a margarita, different variation of a margarita, um, just because it's kind of my little thing for Fridays. So today, pomegranate margaritas. Um, so you're going to need palm juice. You can do these anytime. There's different types of palm that I saw. There's blueberry, cherry. I just got regular, I think. Yep, 100% pomegranate. Um, but there's some different little flavors with those that are super good. Any juice you can always mix into a margarita and make it fancy. So, but pomegranate ones are really good. Um, so let's get started. I got the cool margarita sloshy glass. I hate these at bars because really, when you're like walking to a table with like your little tray, anybody who's ever waited tables, you know this, God, these things slosh everywhere. So that's usually why they've kind of gone to pint glasses and, you know, little other glasses that don't do that, but they are pretty. So we're going to do it today for the palm. I'm going to do one just to look fancy. Um, I need some ice. We got our shaker. Just enough to chill. That's what we all need right now, right? Just enough to chill. Got some tequila. Again, silver. I don't like gold in margaritas, but it is your choice. You do you. So we're going to go one, two, three. I'll do the extra because it's Friday. Uh, I'm going to put these down when I'm done with them. So I've already seen it. Uh, triple sec, which is orange liqueur. Uh, I'm going to do a two count. One, two. Really, that just smooths out a margarita. So if you don't have triple sec, you can still put tequila in margarita mix, and it'll taste fine. Um, do that. I brought the brandy because I love brandy. So I'm going to do a dash of brandy. Gives it a little richness. Who doesn't want a rich margarita, right? Um, and then I'm going to do, I'm just doing sweet and sour mix this time, not margarita mix. The difference from what I can tell, sweet and sour, obviously you can mix with other things. Like you can make a whiskey sour, you can do an amaretto sour. Um, margarita mix, you don't want to do that because I think it's more limey. It has a lot more lime. This is yellow, bright yellow. So you get more of that lemon citrus feel to it. it smells very fresh. Um, so right now that's just booze, okay? And it's pretty full. It's like half full on the shaker. Um, so I'm gonna fill the rest of it, almost to the top with the mix. Because what I'm gonna do, um, just for, aesthetic is I'm going to actually pour the pomegranate juice on the top. It's I think it's going to sink, but it'll just look prettier than if we mix it all together. If you want to put it all into a blender, be my guest. It'll be nice and cold and frothy, or you can do a lot of ice and make it a frozen margarita. Um, again, your choice. It'll be yummy. Uh, I did bring my simple syrup because I like simple syrup, so I'm going to do one because I want this one to be smooth and sweet. So I'm going to do that. And let's do always squeeze the lime. All your stuff has lime juice in it that you're putting in. So if you don't have fresh limes, don't worry about it. But a squeeze of lime makes margarita. It's like making it official. It's just good for it. And I have I had a little leftover orange, so I'm going to do a squeeze of orange. So it's just all the citrus in there. It'll be good. Um, we need to salt our rim before we ice our glass, right? So little end of the lime. I'm not going to do the full because I don't like the full rim. So I'm just going to do part of it. You can do half. You can do however much you want. You can do the whole thing. Nice, chunky, salty rim. 
I do, this is margarita salt. Um, if you've ever used like, what is it? There's some other salts that are like big flecks that actually look pretty cool on these too. Margarita salt is pretty big. The little tiny table salt that you have works just fine, but it's real fine coating. So if you can get your hands on some thicker salt, it always sits better on the glass and you can see it and it looks cool. It all tastes the same, so don't worry about it. Okay, so I think we're ready to shake this guy. Cap it real good and shake it. Want it nice and frothy. Okay, that feels good. And our pomegranate. I'm going to open it. We're going to ice our glass. I could do that little ice ball in here. That would be nice too. But I'm just going to fill it because we want it nice and cold. And my ingredients, I just leave out, like I don't put them in the fridge to chill. So if you, like if your tequila is in your fridge cold, it's kind of makes it nicer. You don't have to use as much ice, but I don't. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, we're going to pour margarita. Very nice. And then we are going to, I'm going to set this down here. We are going to top it with pomegranate. So I haven't done this yet. I'm going to see if it's going to sink or float. Probably sink over under. Anybody? It's a sinker. Okay, so pour it gently on the side. And as you can see, it sinks to the bottom, which looks really pretty. It's layered. Um, I think I'm going to say any juice should do that um because cranberry does anything should sink down so if you want to make various different colors that's how you do it and it looks really neat and i'm glad i did it because i wasn't sure okay and then you can stir a little bit with your straw so you get all the flavors oh that's good okay so pomegranate margarita it gives it like a really nice rich tartness super yummy I like it. That's actually better than cranberry juice, I think, for that kind of weird, yeah, tart. It's good. So that's your margarita for Friday um, so that we remember what day it is and so that we can relax and pretend we're on vacation. Like every week, just pretend you're on vacation, make it better. Um, I want to go to weird booze. Okay, here we are. So I had a couple people post drinks that they want me to make. Um, one is a Manhattan from Zan, which we talked about. I will not be doing that because it's Margarita Friday, but I'm going to do a Manhattan soon for you. My friend Ashley wants an old fashioned, which I love. So I will do that for you too. And I might actually do both of them maybe on the same day because honestly, I would always get an old fashioned over in Manhattan, but maybe I could figure out a way to like the other one more. So we'll see. I might do those together. Uh, and then, yeah, I have a lot of like requests for drinks, but the next question I have is from my friend, Anna, who is an actress in Los Angeles and she's from here where I am. Um, she is a lovely lady and she asks, what the hell is slow gin? And I thought, what the hell is slow gin? So I Googled it. So, you know, Anna, if you ever wanted to actually Google stuff, you could figure it out. I'm kidding. Um, slow gin, because I've had it and I was like, well, it's red and I don't really know why it's called slow. It's S-L-O-E, in case you didn't know. Um, and it is a British red liqueur. And it's made with gin and slows. 
Sloes are the fruit of Prunus spinosa. So it sounds like it's a plum, it's a plum gin liqueur, which sounds pretty darn tasty. Um, it looks like on those drinks, of course, you can do a slow gin fizz. They've got a couple recipes here for things. But so it's it's a fruity gin, Anna. And I think you would like it a lot. I'm trying to see. There's a cool. So someone here recommends slow gin and ginger ale. Gin and ginger is actually not terrible. So a slow gin and ginger would probably be pretty good. So if you just want a basic, I'm putting this over ice. I'm going to have a drink like a normal person. Slow gin and ginger. Plus it sounds cool. Um, and then they also put it in a hot toddy, which I call bull. Hot toddy should be whiskey, but um, maybe it's tasty. So yeah, there's a couple different things you can do. Slow gin fizz is the classic. Fizz drinks, um, if I'm correct, use egg white. So I'm going to do a fizz next week, I think. And they're fun, and I don't want you to be afraid of egg whites because they make your drink super cool. It's just the neatest thing. You feel like you're doing really cool stuff with your drink when you do that. So that's for Anna. Uh, and then my other, let me see if there's any others. The rest of them, it's looking like I do need to do a few cocktails for you, and I'll get to the rest of you on that. My friend Jim does ask, Jim, Jim and I lived together years ago, he and his husband, and I adore him. And he asks, what are the best outfits when mixing a cocktail? Well, Jim, this is the best outfit for mixing a cocktail, the one you're wearing. Um, I'm actually wearing a dress today because why not? I don't get to wear dresses, so I'll just start wearing all my dresses in my closet. Put on what you're not wearing normally and see if you like it anymore. It's kind of fun. Uh, he, he's probably alluding to the fact that we like to make fun of um, tennis players when they go, ah, ah, that, that noise when they hit. And we used to say that bartenders should do that when they make a drink. So if I wear a little skirt, Jim, I'll make my noise for you on the drinks. The little, ah, ah. Um, and actually, if you want to send me a picture of you in a tennis skirt, I would take it. So we're good. I think that's it. I've got a ton more questions to get to, which we will do over the weekend. I'm going to make some more drinks. And uh, obviously, I'm going to get to my margarita tonight because it's Friday and you have to enjoy your day. You have to feel like, you know, you're actually facing the weekend and it has been a real week. Yes, we've actually completed another week. You did it. Kudos to you. Okay. Um, so yeah, drink up, enjoy a margarita tonight, and I will talk to you again. Thank you. Bye.